All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So look, it's been a few days, right? It's been a couple days since we got word that the Jets and Morgan Moses tackle from Washington were making progress, significant progress on a multi-year contract. I mean, that report came from Jeremy Fowler of ESPN, a credible guy, right? A guy who's broke stories before in the past. Uh, everything looked good. It was also mentioned that the Jets were the front runner. We had Jamison Crowder take a 50% pay cut, a 50% pay cut, dropping it down to $5 million for the season, 4.5 of which is guaranteed. Okay, so a massive, massive pay cut. And the Jets already had some cap space available to afford Morgan Moses. The rumored price for Moses was anywhere from six to nine million dollars. So that's pretty affordable, right? Especially for a guy of Moses's caliber. He's been a consistent staple for the Washington football team's offensive line for the last five years now, six years. So obviously Morgan Moses would come in and be a huge, huge upgrade, but we already know that, right? Just as Jets fans, I'm pretty sure the consensus is we need to get this guy locked in. We need to get this guy in the building because he is he's a beast, right? And he would be a great, great addition to this offensive line. This is an offensive line that recent history, it struggled. We've had a lot of issues with it, but we're slowly but surely rebuilding it. We're slowly but surely adding great, great pieces to this line. Makai Becton, Elijah Vera Tucker. The hope is Connor McGovern improves his play in the brand new, you know, Mike LaFleur zone blocking attack here. Uh, which is where Connor McGovern really shined in Denver under Scangarello. At right guard, it's a little bit of a question mark. We have some younger guys on the roster like Cameron Clark, fourth round pick last year, Tristan Hodge from BYU. We have some older guys, Alex Lewis, who recently restructured his contract. And then, of course, Greg Van Roten, who I believe is on paper the starting right guard today. Uh, there's also been a question mark about uh, George Fant playing right guard, right? If we do, in fact, sign Morgan Moses, can George Fant kick in a right guard? Because he is versatile. He was a two-sport athlete. He's obviously really athletic. Um, so I wouldn't r necessarily rule it out. But I do feel like if the Jets were to sign Morgan Moses, George Fant would be uh, slotted back into that swing tackle position. Because as we all know, Mekhi Becton still has the lingering uh, you know, plantar fasciitis thing. So maybe if Mekhi Becton isn't ready to go, George Fan can step in and play some left tackle. Who knows what'll happen, but all we can say right now is that Morgan Moses is still out there. I still feel really comfortable. I, I feel really good that the Jets will eventually sign him. It's just a little worrisome that the news hasn't broke yet because when the report officially broke, I kind of got the sense that a deal was imminent. It was going to be coming later that night, maybe the next morning, maybe the morning after that. But at like three, four days removed, I felt like it would have been done by now. So again, I'm not freaking out about it. I'm not like, you know, going crazy, thinking to myself like, oh my God, now he's going to Chicago. But here's the silver lining, right? Here's the, the good news. Um, trying to look at the situation from a worst case scenario. Let's just say Joe Douglas backs out. Let's say Morgan Moses ends up wanting more money. He wants 14 million, whatever the case is, whatever hypothetical you want to throw into the situation. Morgan Moses does not end up with the Jets, it's still okay. Now, obviously, we don't have the best offensive line in the world, best offensive line in the league, but compared to last season's offensive line, the season before that, it's it's better by leaps and bounds, okay? The addition of Elijah Vera Tucker will pay dividends for this football team, okay? Makai Becton looked unstoppable in the run game last year. He was fantastic, okay? Makai Becton was one of the only bright spots for this football team. He did not disappoint anybody as that 11th overall pick coming in actually impressed a lot of people. The big thing with Becton was he's amazing in run blocking and he's, you know, a great athlete for his size, really quick feet, but he struggles in pass protection. He's really raw. It might take him a while to pick up the pro game. That wasn't the case. Makai Becton was, was pretty much checking every single box possible. He looked like one of the best tackles in the NFL last season. Becton was a beast. So the left side of the offensive line on paper is done, right? It's complete. Makai Becton left tackle, Elijah Vera Tucker at left guard, and Vera Tucker will surprise a lot of people. He's a safe player. He's a high floor style of player. This isn't a guy that I feel like will take a year to get accustomed to the NFL. I don't feel like the speed of the game is too much for him. I think he's going to come in as that left guard and do a solid job. I don't know if like he's going to be the best left guard or a top three left guard, but he could hold his own 100%. I, I fully believe Elijah Vera Tucker will be able to hold his own. This is a guy who, the, who Joe Douglas traded up for, gave away a first round pick, multiple third round picks to go up for Elijah Vera Tucker. Okay, so they have a plan in place. 
he will be utilized and i feel like i feel like those two positions are solved center again we talked about Connor mcgovern the assumption would be he improves let's just say he he looks like an average center next year he looks like the 16th best center the 17th best center in the league this offensive line with that production would look totally totally different left guard center right guard last season was a major major issue so if we're drastically improving two positions on that interior of the offensive line with the left tackle position already solved with the right tackle position being pretty good with George Fan. Uh, again, this is assuming we don't sign Morgan Moses. All of a sudden, we're looking at this offensive line with maybe two positions that we, you know, should be concerned about, but probably only one, the right guard position. Okay, so we have a rookie quarterback starting. There's a lot of young players on this football team. This is a young coaching staff. So the offensive line success is key. This is an offensive system that will only go as far as the offensive line will let them. Okay, so everything is based off of the zone blocking attack. It's going to be a run first offense. So we need to get into these third shorts, third and two, third and three, third and four. If we can get into that money area, then everything opens up. The short passing, the play action, uh, the trickery, putting guys in motion, uh, the end arounds, all of the... All of these things now open up, but if we're in second and 10, second, second and 11, and then Zach Wilson is getting hit by the time he's transitioning to his second read, we're going to have issues on the offensive line. So at the end of the day, I do feel like the Jets are in a really, really good, really beneficial position because whether we sign Morgan Moses or not, the offensive line compared to last season and even the season before that will be so much better. Will be so much better. And we know that our front office, Joe Douglas, is actually prioritizing the offensive line. It's not this thing that's being swept under the rug. It's not something that, you know, we're trying to find cheap one-year contracts here, one one year contracts there. I mean, so far, he's invested two first round picks in the offensive line, AVT and Beckton. He's signed George Fant to a multi year contract. He signed Connor McGovern to a multi year contract. The hope is we sign Morgan Moses to a multi year contract. He's been in Baltimore, he's been in Philadelphia. Two teams that have won Super Bowls, okay, with him there. So he knows what it takes to get it done. Uh, I fully believe in JD. I, I do. I, I truly do believe that. Mike McCagnan, I, I, I like that he was kind of aggressive in free agency at times. Uh, and, and, you know, the Brandon Marshall trade was huge. John Idzik, on the other hand, kind of had the opposite style of approach. We're not going to be signing these big money free agents. It's all going to be built through the draft. We're going to save money. But all those picks were squandered in the end. So point is, I haven't felt this good about a general manager in front office in a really, really long time for the Jets. And I do trust in JD's ability to, to, to build this football team. Okay, I, I really, really do. Uh, and I, I don't feel like the process will be rushed. I don't feel like there's this this mandate, these quotas that need to be hit. We need to make the playoffs now. We need to get we need to make headlines. We need to, you know, create storylines. Nothing like that. I feel like we finally have an opportunity here where we can take our time and slowly build this thing up. We could slowly build this dynasty. Uh, so I'm hoping we sign Morgan Moses. I have my fingers crossed. Hopefully I don't even have to post this video to be honest with you. Uh, let me check right here. Yeah, no notifications. So, you know, it, it, it's been a, it's been a long time since we got that news, but I still feel really confident. I still feel like we'll get it done at some point. If we can bring Morgan Moses in on a multi-year contract worth anywhere from six to nine million dollars, that would be huge. But let's just say he signs for the Bears. Let's sign. He's. Let's just say you know he signs elsewhere. That's okay too. It's not like the Jets' offensive line completely rides on the signing, the addition of Moses, because we have some pretty good pieces in place already. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Where do you stand on Morgan Moses? Are you getting a little nervous now? Are you kind of trusting the process? Are you trusting that this thing will get done? Um, or are you kind of sitting there like, you know what? Like, where is this Moses news? This is. This is getting a little sketchy here. So anyway, thanks so much. And as always, go Jets.